Hello, this is Cotton Soups, and welcome back to another Lumi Legacy HDC video. And today's video is on Mirath. Mirath seems to be a very versatile Lumian in this metagame, and because of all of its offensive and defensive attributes, it looks to be a pretty good Lumian overall. So, let's talk about it. Today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to use Encounter Mirath from the counters and checks in teammates in order to use Mirath during your battles, as well as knowing the roles and sets in order to team build around Mirath. Today's video is all about how to use Encounter Mirath. So the role that Mirath is going to be playing in your matches is a very essential question to ask, and we can answer this question with its base stats. The first thing you want to know about team building around with Mirath is that it has a very low melee defense stat of 62 and a very low HP stat of 50. This is very frail and it is on par with other frail offensive lumens such as Gargolem Attack and Deladrix. So if you t if you know those two lumens that are very frail then you know that Mirath is never going to be wanting to take a hit on the melee defense side. So anything above neutral you do not want to take. And your speed side of 44 doesn't give you any favors either because this lets you get susceptible to any offensive meta or any offensive meta lumen and will let you get outsped by other walls such as Obsidigon, Ilaguana, Stratosaur, etc. This speed stat and melee defense and HP stat, they're obviously not your strong suits. However, you do have a decent energy stat of 84. This isn't as high as the other meta offensive lumens, but this does let you get to a pretty good benchmark of 250. Even with high investment, this is still a pretty good energy stat to have. And finally, Mirath's best selling points is its melee and range attack and of course its range defense. 105 range defense is very good because this does let you patch up your HP somewhat on the range defense side of things and lets you take hits on the range defense side. Your range attack and melee attack, of course this is very reminiscent of a Lumin such as Nova Deus, so you do have a lot of mixed attacking potential when you get higher base power moves in the future, which is very good for any Mirath set. So, what did we learn from these base stats? Well, the role that Mirath is going to be playing is a very good mixed attacking Lumian. It has good attacks on both sides, if I do recall, and because you do have pretty good range defense you can play a very range defensive role you have also very good support moves in your move pool so Mirath can be a pretty good support looming with the potential to hit hard on both spectrums however because you do have a very low speed tier you are very prone to revenge killing not just by like your average revenge killer such as Brevenine but pretty much any offensive Lumion and other walls so Mirath you're not going to be doing that great on that side of things but overall you are pretty bulky on the range defense side. So, with that out of the way, let's talk about Mirath's set. So, Mirath isn't going to be running any offensive sets as of right now, mainly because its melee attack stat and moves are pretty lackluster. Its best metal melee stab is Double Whack, which is 70 base power altogether. It doesn't have Steel Crusher or something like that. Its best dark coverage is Bamboozle, and it does have admittedly a pretty good move pool of melee spare type moves to choose from. So we're not going to be running offensive here. We're instead going to be running a range defense pivot role because Mirath has a range defense and a utility to take advantage of its range defense stat and overall its role. Your ability of choice is going to be reflective. This is so you can gain an immunity to light, and of course, you are able to wall most light types now. Luminami can still give you trouble if it's a melee version, and that's pretty much it. That's only the really only light type that you can't really want to stay in on. Julusa does technically count too, but unless it's in not enchanted coat, you do pretty well against that. And overall, reflective is just very good in singles as of right now. And your personality of choice is going to be smart, clever, very sluggish. The reason why we're not running very frail is because we do have a melee attack move we are using and will benefit one of our moves, Baffle. And smart, clever, this is so you can able, you are able to have some potential in two hit KOing Lumians. With smart and clever is of course we're just going to have to have the best range defense stat as possible without running any other decreasing stats. And our moveset is going to be Baffle, Shatter, D Metal Blast, and Dark Surge. 
The reason why we're running smart here is because we have better coverage on the range side. Well, technically, we do have the same coverage, but we have higher base power. Dark Surge with smart lets you 2-hit KO offensive Valkyries. Metal Blast is here so we can 2-hit KO of Sidragons. And Baffle is so we can pivot out and utilize very sluggish. While Shatter is, of course, going to help us set up hazards and barbs and just anything that we want with shatter, shatter and helping our offensive teammates and the health hamlet item is going to be our main choice because we do not have rejuvenate or anything like that if you could not run health hamlet then milkshake is probably the better choice but that's what we're going to be running and for the tps this is very simple here for your moray if you want to have zero ups on speed as much as possible if you cannot get that then i'm pretty sure you can use dark shards from the pond so that it's pretty good here or i should say the lotus and beach and for your tps i should get to now your 52 energy lets you get up to 250 energy this will let you use five shatters or baffles which is very good and your 200 hp in range defense are gonna be your maxing out of your stats so you can take as much range hits as possible and your range attack stat of 48 is basically leftovers this is technically leftovers but it does help you out in some matches like i said already so put your leftovers into your range attack so with that out of the way Let's talk about the offensive encounters and checks as well as your teammates. So offensive encounters and checks, there is a lot of Lumians that can have the ability to check this thing. What's very good about Mirath is that it has a pretty good prone weaknesses to earth and fire. And thankfully there's a lot of fire types in this meta, specifically Arceros, Ikazune, Solbers, Eruptodon, and Pyrolin. Nobodius is going to be banned in some tournaments but it still technically does count. Arceros is going to be very good now though that it has Boiling Press and because it has Boiling Press it would have the ability to actually break through pretty much most melee tanks in OU so that's pretty good and Seer Knight here is just a last option if you do not want to use any of these guys and it does have the, the defensive typing to resist moves such as metal blast so seer knight is also good here if you do not want to run fire types you can choose earth types to run such as tyrex borok and cinemars you can of course run other earth type coverage illumians such as wobblisk and gargolem attack and jolt tooth which is also all pretty good options to run but i just throw chose three metal or three not three metal types but three earth types to run and as for your offensive teammates there really isn't a lot you can actually choose from offensive teammates this is mainly because you are a defensive lumion and you only really can support offense but because you do have baffle and you do have shatter to set up barbs you will be able to help get in slow but hard hitting lumens such as Sober, Sarokodon, Joltooth, Barbadger, and you can help other offensive lumens such as Shachi and Ikizune get in the battle as well. Joltooth is going to be a very good partner now that it has very good buffs with Drudge and uh, Earthquake, and Barbadger is just overall a pretty good lumen to run. Ikizune has Pivoting and Shachi and Sober, Sarokodon, they have pure damage. And as for defensive cores, what I suggest if you're running this thing, because we are using it in offense, we don't really matter, care about walling everything, but pretty good teammates for this Lumion is Sober's Gastroke. It has insulated, so it pretty much dunks on any ranged fire type ever, which is very good. You can run Barblast because Barblast does have the ability to pretty much wall any melee fire type besides Arceros. And if you do not, and you, if you are afraid of Arceros, I should say, then running the Mare is perfectly fine as well. So now that we're done with everything else, let's talk about the conclusion and my thoughts on Mareth. So Mareth overall looks to be a pretty solid Lumion, and because it does have a lot of offensive, uh, yeah, offensive checks, I should say, I don't think Mareth is going to be that great on a lot of offensive teams. For example, we do have a bunch of baffle users and pivot users that can just have the job more consistent. We have Icicle, Yursnack, Luminami, and Cleone. 
in my opinion, they do the better job at pivoting, but what's gonna be Murray's best selling point is Shatter. Shatter is gonna be very good, and because it has reflective, no, no light type actually wants to swap in on a Shatter to actually have the immunity against it. And because it has metal coverage, it's gonna have the ability to hit most of those light types super effectively. If anything, Mraith is going to increase the usage of light type Lumians such as Jalusa and Luminami because they have the ability to deal with this Lumian. So, what are your thoughts on Mraith? I personally think it's going to be a pretty solid Lumian mainly because of Shatter, but what are your thoughts? If you enjoyed the video and found something informational, then of course like and subscribe. I'll be making more videos on the Halloween Lumians, and yeah, this is Khan Stoop signing off to remind you that Zulong is still a dumpster fire.